All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep midlife music. Make sure y'all following us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Oh, yeah. As y'all creep on up in here, man, we definitely going to get into this tonight. And so the Los Angeles Lakers <laughs> seem like they're going to meet their makers. And that is the Denver Nuggets as the Los Angeles Lakers are headed to the Denver Nuggets. A lot of people on social media are were claiming that they thought Zion Williamson choked the game. Uh, he was killing and they thought he choked the game. Well, Zion Williamson, from what I'm hearing, really got hurt. I heard he had some with his hamstring. A lot of people was criticizing that online, saying Zion Williamson, you know, saying, uh, you know, got hurt to help the Lakers somehow and duck and duck the Nuggets. I don't believe that, man. I'm seeing people on Twitter talking about that. Zion was destroying those guys. I think Zion really got hurt. You guys forget Zion is injury prone. He's injury prone. So, I mean, he's not a small dude. Zion is a hefty guy that always gets hurt. So, again, you can't use that excuse. He was killing. Then all of a sudden he just came out the game. So it ain't like he he he, you know, is not an injury-prone player. He's a guy that always gets hurt. <laughs> you just got to keep it real, man. Y'all smash the like button. Y'all come on in, man. Subscribe to the channel. Salute to everybody, man. I want to talk about this game, man. Now, I will say this, man. The Lakers was tripping in the second half, bro. They gave up a 20-point lead, and they was tripping. Zion Williamson was coming on, and he looked like he was getting ready to send these boys a lullaby. But we saw what happened. As you rewind the situation, and we saw – that the Lakers, they did close the game. And I'll say this right now, you guys. I thought LeBron James and AD overall played bad in the second half. But down the stretch, when you had to make big plays, I got to give LeBron credit. He made a big shot uh, over Youngfella and on the wing. That, that shot was a huge shot by LeBron James. But the only thing he did was is shoot himself right to Jokic now. Which, you know, hey, look, they wasn't supposed to throw the game. You're going to hear a lot of people in the media upset that the Lakers didn't throw the game. Hey, man, shout out to the brother JB in the cash app coming through. $50 donation. Salute to you, my brother. He said Zion gave that shit away ticket, man. Listen, man, I don't I don't agree with that, dog. I'm just going to be real with you, homie. You know what I'm saying? I rock with you a thousand. I rock with you a thousand, my brother, but I don't I don't agree with that, dog. I don't think Zion. I think, that, I think Zion is just a big dude that got hurt, bro. And I'm just going to be that dude always getting hurt, man. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. The hell with Zion. I don't even know why y'all talking about Zion. Y'all need to be talking about Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram has been a guy that – Brandon Ingram, bro, somebody need to find out what the hell is going on with him. So the Pelican season is probably over with now if Zion Williamson's hamstring is, is bad. But Brandon Ingram, bro, bro, for you to show up and play like that, forget talking about anything, bro. Brandon Ingram was a guy – Bro, he was a cesspool out there tonight. A cesspool. Hit two straight disgraceful performances against the Lakers. Brandon Ingram game have completely fell off planet Earth, bro. Straight up, bro. He gave Zion no support. So you see Zion out there putting everything into the game, but guess what? What the hell are you going to do if your sidekick is nowhere to be found? So, no, Zion didn't get a game. You seen what happened. You seen what the hell happened? Shout out to the brother Kevin Woolridge in the cash app with the donation, man. He said the Lakers tried to give it away. Ticket had a 20-point lead and gave it up. But I didn't see, I'm going to tell you the truth, I didn't see LeBron and AD quitting down the stretch. I'm not going to do that to him. I talk a lot of trash about those guys, but I didn't see them quitting down the stretch. I got to call it how I see it. I thought LeBron James played like he wanted to win the game, knowing that he was going to get cooked three the hard way if he didn't. Now, overall in the second half, did he have a good second half? No. But down the stretch in the fourth quarter, that big shot he made, you know, I didn't like the fact that he gave it up when he had Jose Alvarado on him. He should have kept the ball. He gave it up when he had Jose on him. But he made a big shot down the stretch. So I got to give him credit. 
he he did hit a big shot. And then, I, like I said before, man, you know, um, I'm just disappointed in Brandon Ingram, man. His performance tonight, bro, his performance the last few games has been horrible, man. How can you play? You put Zion in such a bad situation, bro. How could you play like that, bro? And the Pelicans, let's just be real, bro. They shot themselves in the foot. The Pelicans were playing no D early in this game. They let the Lakers get whatever they wanted. And really, the Lakers should have ran it out the gym. But now they run into the Denver Nuggets. And so now, the situation with the Lakers is this, y'all. They have zero room for error. They go on the road against the defending, reigning defending world champions. Shout out to the brother Iman in the cash app with the donation. She says, says, salute, take it, salute. My brother, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate that, dog. Hey, and don't y'all forget, too, man, if y'all want to subscribe to the podcast show, the link is pinned at the top of the comments. Y'all already know I'll be on the podcast after this game is over with patreon.com backslash ticket TV, man. Y'all make sure y'all go hit up that podcast show. You guys already know what it is, man. Y'all, let's get those likes up. We got over a 1,000 people in the building already. Make sure y'all get those likes up, man. And so the Lakers, man, listen, man, they got to go get it the hard way, bro. And this, 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 this could be it right here, man. This could be Darvin Ham's last series, or I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to be very honest with everybody watching this video, man. The Lakers got a shot to where either they can win this. If, they, if the Lakers can somehow win this series, most people will pick them to get to the NBA Finals. But here's the problem, bro. The problem is, is that, bro, they haven't beat the Denver Nuggets in the last eight games. And, bro, if they go up there and get the holy hell beat out of them in game one, you already know what everybody's going to say. You already know what everybody's going to say. The, the, the Denver Nuggets come out here and beat the hell out of the Lakers in game one. They're going to completely demoralize the Los Angeles Lakers if they beat the hell out of them in game one. The Lakers have to go win game one. They have to, bro. There's no, There ain't, there ain't no question about it. Shout out to the brother Dexter in the cash chat with the donation. Salute to you, my brother. Much love, much appreciation to you, brother. Much love, much appreciation to you, man. He said, I ain't even watching that series ticket. Hey, man, look, man, you know how I go, brother. I mean, you know, so I know some of y'all going to be in y'all feelings about the shit, man. Hey, man, it is what it is. You got to face your fears, man. It's just like when you was a kid, brother. You got to get out there and face your fears, man. LeBron and AD got to get their ass out there and face their fears. Shout out to Brandon P in the cash app with a donation. He say salute. Salute to you, my brother. Appreciate the donation, man. Salute to everybody else that's supporting the channel. That's donating or that you guys have subscribed to the podcast show. These two dudes got to face their fears. AD has to bring it on the level of Jokic. Bro, listen, there's no other way around this. Forget what the hell the media was talking about. You had disgraceful clowns in the media. You understand what I'm saying? Disgraceful clowns in the media that was praying for this team to duck this series, bro. Well, guess what? It ain't no ducking no more. Either y'all boy LeBron James really is the king or his ass going home in the first round. Pick one. Which one you think it's going to be? Pick one. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm just giving y'all the facts. I'm giving y'all the facts. Now, I had a lot of people hit me up in the second half of the game saying, look, Ticket LeBron throwing the game, man. He throwing the game, man, because they was up by 20. They let they let the Pelicans get back in the game, and LeBron and AD really wasn't doing nothing in the second half till late down the stretch. Then I seen late down the stretch, LeBron James hit a big shot, and then they threw it to eight, uh, to uh to, uh, you know what I'm saying, old boy in the corner, D'Lo Russell, and he hit the big three in the corner, and that put the game on ice. But I'm just going to tell y'all, man, listen, bro, they got to go through this series, bro. They got to go through this series, man. They don't get their ass through this series, bro. This shit is going to get ugly, man. It's going to get ugly, bro. They got to go win game one, bro. The Los Angeles Lakers, if they lose game one, bro, they are going to lose this series, bro. If they lose game one, they're going to lose the series. So they have to go to Denver and steal game one. They got to break that curse. They got to break that mentality and that mindset. You know what I'm saying? And this was part of that tonight. Tonight was part of the Los Angeles Lakers saying, you know what? We're going to show them we ain't scared of them. We're going to show so we're going we're going to win this game. We're going to come for you guys. And again, to all the people that's going to hit me up, talking about Zion, uh, photo shot to my brother Lavelle in the cash app with the donation. Salute to you, my brother. Appreciate that, man. You leave no message, but salute to you. To all the people that was hitting me up telling me that Zion quit with three minutes. Zion didn't quit. Zion is a dude that's overweight. He's a caboose. Zion is out there, a four-man, looking like a whole buffet. What the hell do you think is going to happen when he's putting all that damn pressure on his body? 
I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. His ass going to get hurt. Especially when Brandon Ingram ain't doing nothing. The hell you think going to happen? You thought he was just going to keep playing like that the whole time? He got a severe extended injury history? No. So no, Zion didn't throw the game. If y'all want to be mad about somebody and talk about somebody through the game, it's Brandon Ingram. That dude didn't show up. Point blank period. He didn't show up. He didn't show up. He didn't show up. And that's what it is, man. Brandon Ingram ass is the one. So I don't even think that you guys are going to, like I said before, man, y'all ain't going to run that shit narrative with me. That shit ain't going to work, man. Shout out to the brother Kennard Brooks in the cash app with the donation, man. He said, I'm worried about AD ticket. What do you mean you worried about AD? What you mean? We talking about how like he was like AD did look kind of. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I you know what I do agree with that shit you just said. I kind of worried about AD too, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm worried about AD. That nigga wasn't moving right at some points in that game when they was helping AD up, man. AD looked like he was 50 years old trying to get up off the ground, man. Feel like he's 50 years old trying to get up off the floor, bro. That's the problem, bro. That's the problem, bro. What I seen with AD tonight, man. AD looked like he was getting up real slow, bro. I'm talking about like his back was really bothering him, bro. And something's wrong about AD. I don't know what the hell going on that's wrong with AD, man. But I'm just telling you guys what the truth is, man. You know, he didn't look right to me getting up. He didn't look like he was springy. He looked like he was getting up right, man. They want to get that fixed quick. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out to the brother Stephen Blackwell in the cash app with the donation, man. And he says, great to see you back on PC. Take your salute to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I had to go over there and chop it up with the boys real quick. Salute to him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know what it is. Y'all hit that like button as y'all come on in here, man. You know what I mean? I need to know what y'all think is going to happen, man. I mean, now they got the Denver Nuggets. So the Denver Nuggets probably going to fold their ass now. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. Point blank, period. So the Denver Nuggets, man, listen, man. I'm going to tell y'all straight like this. The Lakers got to win game one, bro. If the Lakers do not win game one, bro, them niggas might get swept again, bro. They psychologically might be beat, bro, if them niggas don't win game one. I think the Lakers have to steal game one. I think if the Lakers, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, I think if the Lakers win game one, they will actually feel like they got a shot to win the series. Shout out to Jamal Richard in the cash out with the donation. He said McCullum was trash too. Yeah, he was straight boo-boo. CJ McCullum was straight boo-boo, and they asked going home. They asked is going home. So the Golden State Warriors or the Sacramento Kings, one or the other, they going to advance. Because whoever got to play the Pelicans, the Pelicans, Zion, I don't think Zion going to play next game, y'all. And so, again, all the people that was talking about Zion through the game, bro, Zion is fat, bro. Y'all don't understand this? His nickname is Tank Ass, point blank, period. So what the hell you think going to happen with him? Ooh, you think? You think he's in great shape? Have you seen him? He looks like a whole buffet running around the court. So at the end of the day, this is what happens when you don't train right, when you don't take care of your body, when you're not on a consistent, you understand what I'm saying? Re regime, it, you're going to end up looking like Sean Kemp. I'm just being honest with you, late in his career. This is the reason why you have to do the things to commit yourself to the game. You understand what I'm saying? Make sure your body's in shape so that when you get to these moments, your body can handle this stuff. Shout out to Libon Hay in the cash of the donation. He said C.J. McCollum smoked two for tonight. Yeah, are we talking about C.J. McCollum right now? He didn't do it there, but I'm more disappointed than Brandon Ingram, bro, because Brandon Ingram been playing like shit for the last few games in a row. He got smoked by the for, – for Brandon Ingram to one smoke with the Lakers, bro, he got his ass cooked for Brandon Ingram to one smoke with the Lakers. He got his ass cooked, period. Ain't no excuse about Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram got no excuses, bro. He been trashed the last few games against the Lakers, bro. Highly disappointed in Brandon Ingram, man. That type of performance tonight, man, was horrific, bro. And you can't bring that type of shit to the party, man. You got everything on the line right here, and you out here playing. And Zion, he let it all hang. That's why I was wondering why people was talking down on Zion when he got hurt. I'm like, bro, y'all talking about Zion. Brandon Ingram ain't out here doing a damn thing. He didn't do a damn thing. He folded. Not only did he fold the last game, he folded this game. But y'all, they giving him a pass. He ain't finna get down around here. So, yeah, you guys, man, look, man. The way I look at this shit, man, the Lakers gonna line up with the Denver Nuggets, and they gotta win game one. 
If the Lakers don't win game one, bro, they going home, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Lakers don't win game one, bro. They going home, bro. I don't care what nobody on YouTube tell you guys, man. I ain't tell you how I tell you, man. If the Lakers do not win game one, bro, they're going home in quick order against the Denver Nuggets, man. And I know you guys don't like to hear this shit, man. I know y'all don't like to hear it, man, but it's just the truth, bro. It's a sad situation, man, but, you know, if you're a Laker fan, but it is what it is, bro. They have to win game one, man. The Lakers are not psychologically, they're going to be screwed, bro. They got to get game one, man. And so that's the most important game of the series, in my opinion, is game one in Denver, man. And now they got to go face their fears, bro. So now y'all going to see the truth about the media tomorrow. The whole media is going to be talking about what the Lakers going to do in the offseason. They don't even think the Lakers can win. This is why I keep trying to tell y'all. They run these bull jab narratives on the, on the mainstream media and don't tell y'all the truth. If you really feel like a player is that great, if you really feel like a player is the GOAT, if you really feel like AD is the defensive player of the year and all this great, you would not be scared for them to have a certain matchup. You literally had dudes in the media telling these dudes to duck smoke. What type of time is that? What era have we come to where we out here ducking smoke now? That's not what we're going to do. So, yeah, the media is going to be upset because they're going to feel like the Lakers are going to get smoked. And, you know, the, the Denver Nuggets head coach, Mike Malone, he's going to talk all kind of shit. Y'all already know how he's coming. So Mike Malone not fitting to mess this up for these boys. He's going to talk all kind of crazy about the Lakers. And then when he beat them, he's going to talk crazy about them again. Now, if he beats them again, bro, if they beat the Lakers 12 times in a row, bro, let me tell y'all something, man. I don't ever want to hear a word about LeBron James and AD again. If they sweep the Lakers, bro, I don't want to hear a word about LeBron James and AD again, bro, because that means they had to beat them niggas 12 times in a row, bro. They can't do that, man. They cannot beat them. The Lakers literally have to win game one, bro. And listen, Denver can be beat. They're not this unbeatable team. Denver is not an unbeatable team. To the brother who keeps saying Zion all of a sudden hurt, man, that's bull job, man. He got hurt because his, his ass was moving and he's just too big, bro. Period. So this is the reason why you saw him fold like that, bro. Zion is not a, he is a, he is a, he is, he is, he, he, he just fat, man. Just, just be honest, bro. You carrying around all that weight, jumping and moving like that, bro. That shit ain't right for your body, man. Zion still has to lose around 20 pounds, bro. Shout out to the brother Thomas Stewart in the cash app with a donation. Came through $100 donation. Salute to you, my brother. King cash app, man. He said, Ticket, you going live for the Warriors game? Uh, nah, I, I, if I do, I go on my podcast. If I do, I go on my podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast show. Link pinned at the top of the comment section. Man, y'all already know what it is, man. Salute to all the subscribers on the podcast show. I appreciate everybody who has went over to the podcast show and subscribed to that show over there, man. Salute to all of you guys getting that great content over there. And also, shout out to the brother uh, Michael Hall in the cash app as well with the donation. Salute to you, my brother. I appreciate it, man. Uh, he said Lakers getting swept ticket. Hey, man, look, it is what it is. A lot of people feel like the Lakers getting swept. I think if the Lakers win game one, they got a shot. If they win game one, they might shake Denver. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people thought they was going to duck this matchup. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I kind of thought the Lakers might want to duck this shit. But, you know, when they got up by 20, I was like, okay, maybe they're not trying to duck it. And then when the game got close, I said to myself, ah, you know, Pelicans at home, they're going to go on a the run. Then when Zion got hurt, everybody started hitting me talking about Zion throwing the game. No, he's not. Y'all niggas looking at the wrong person. The person you need to be looking at is Brandon Ingram and CJ McCollum. Those are the two people y'all need to be looking at. So, again, if I'm the Lakers, man, I put everything in the game one, man, because they got to, bro. And I'm going to just say it to y'all, all y'all LeBron James fans, the Lakers fans, man, he lose game one, bro. <laughs> bro, them niggas might get swept again, man. They lose game one. They ain't going to have no confidence. You lose to a team nine times in a row, bro. Bro, you literally can't lose to a team nine times in a row, man. You literally can't lose to a team. The Lakers got to get answers quick. Jamal Murray, all these guys, they got to get answers, bro. They have to get answers, man. Uh, to the brother in the comment section that said, Ticket, I told you we not ducking nobody. Shit, you ain't got to duck nothing to get your ass whooped. The hell wrong with you? What you call? You call yourself the prophet? Well, shit, the shit you prophesizing don't make no, sen no sense, brother. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, playboy. <laughs> you, hey, <laughs> you don't got, you, you don't got duck nothing to get your ass whooped. <laughs> you can run right into an ass whooping. 
these is facts. You feel what I'm saying, dog? So that shit you saying? Yeah, we flushing that down the toilet today. You know what I'm saying? We not going for that. Yeah, nigga. We ain't dunk. He the, he the nigga that go outside. Yeah, nigga. We ain't ducking on. Bam! Get his ass knocked the hell out. Paramedics pick your ass up, nigga. Nigga say, what happened, man? He wasn't dirty, man. He shit. At least he wasn't ducking no smoke. Shit, he got knocked the F out. Period. So, yeah, man. That's the situation, man. You know? And this is crazy, man. You know, the Lakers, man. They got to face their fears. They got to go outside and fight the bully, man. <laughs> them niggas... <laughs> The niggas got, <laughs> the niggas got to go outside. <laughs> the niggas got to go outside and fight the bully, dog. They got to fight that bully, man. But y'all already know them niggas got a built-in excuse. They gonna blame Darvin Ham. Watch. Shout out to Floyd Jenkins in the cash app for the donation. Salute to you, my brother. Appreciate that, man. Hey, man, that's what they gonna do. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you niggas this. They gonna. <laughs> hey, man. Moneyball, what up, boy? I see y'all in the building, man. Hey, y'all seen them boys over there crying today when I was on PC today, man? That man boy's crying like a bunch of damn babies over there, man. What the hell wrong with y'all, man? Huh? Wipe your mouth, fool. What is you, man? Oh, man. Here comes Ticket, the big bad wolf, the final boss. Ticket's coming in here to goddamn be dominant again. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Because <laughs> I'm dominant, nigga. That's why. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm dominant, nigga, <laughs> by nature. <laughs> you feel me? So that if you got a problem with that, hey, nigga, pull your panties up. That's how I feel about it. Big boy talk. You know what I'm saying? So, again, man, y'all know what's up, man. Uh, Lord Ninja, you said put some respect on LeBron today, man. Sit down, bro, and brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, bro. And ain't your name Sim Simba? AJ Simba, ain't that your name? You call yourself Lord Ninja. You a grown 50-year-old man call yourself Lord Ninja. And your name's supposed to be AJ Simba, man. Sit down somewhere, man, and stop disrespecting and embarrassing yourself, brother. Straight up, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm going to watch this next game, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. Like I said before, man, Lakers better win game one, man. They don't win game one, man. They going to get foot put to their ass. And y'all let me know what y'all feel. I'll be back after the Golden State Warriors game is over with, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I got the uh, Warriors getting their ass. Well, shout out to Jermaine in the cash app, the donation. He said, keep up the good shit, ticket salute. Salute to you, my brother. I appreciate you for the donation, man. Y'all let me know what y'all feel, man. Hey, y'all click that link. I'm going to put it in the top of the comments. Catch me on the podcast show after this. I'll be cooking on the Lakers shit tonight. Let's go.